We want to talk to the mayor of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti, about mayor. Thank you for joining us again this morning. But let's start with these stay at home uh, orders. And uh, your top health official said yesterday, expect to extend the orders for another three months. But, but explain exactly what that means. Sure. I think we have to all recognize that we're not moving beyond COVID-19. We're learning to live with it. Um, it's important not to overreact, but it's important to take this serious because it is as dangerous today as it was the first day that it arrived in our cities and our country. So quite frankly, there's no so-called open state or open country that doesn't continue to have health orders telling us to cover our faces, physically distance, and to tell people that you're safest working from and staying at home. That's all that the county health director was saying, and we can't expect that to disappear in a matter of weeks or even a few months. At the same time, we're learning a lot of really important lessons about how to safely reopen sectors and places, and we have to assess each of those steps, give three or four weeks time to see, is there any additional spread? Are we endangering more people? And how can we keep our most vulnerable safe? So we are learning to live with it at the same moment that we are also learning the lessons of how to do that. So do you have a sense of where you're going to be in September? We did see that news this morning. The California State University system is saying they're not, they're not going to have classes on campus. What are you expecting in Los Angeles and for your schools? Sure. I hope for our K through 12 schools that we will have some sense of opening, but it won't be in the way that we've known school in the past. It might be fewer days a week. It might be staggered because we have to maintain that physical distance and we have to make sure for our vulnerable children, some of them won't be able to go back to school for some time. Look, we have to tell the hard truths and protect our people. At the same time, we take steps forward. For instance, this past weekend, we opened up our trails. We have retail for curbside pickup. We'll see that expanded and even some active recreation on our uh, beaches this coming weekend. Those are important. And we've never been fully closed. We'll never be completely open until we have a cure. But I do believe that we can take steps. But monitor those numbers, listen to the scientists and the medical professionals, and make the tough calls, even when there's criticism. To reopen, we need a cure. We need a vaccine. We also need more testing. Where do things stand right now in Los Angeles with testing? Do you have what you need? We're very proud of what we've stood up. We're burning through a lot of cash, George, but we stood up our own testing centers, the city and the county with firefighters had to procure our own tests, but we're doing probably more tests than anywhere in the country now. Um, we're, we have a capacity of 20,000 tests a day just in Los Angeles County, whereas the country is doing 300,000 tests a day and we're just 3% of the population. We've got to keep that going and we have to make it regular. For kids to go back to school, we need testing. For workers to get back to work, we need testing. And we do need help from the national level, not just through the states, but directly to cities like ours that have taken that. We were the first city in America to offer widespread testing to people with and without symptoms because we've got to find the silent spreaders that are amongst us as well. Bring me right to